Alright, we've got a few code access here. A journal update. Now this, in Mass Effect 2, there's a lot more uh, DLCs. Well, um, the first one, there was only one, one DLC, and then it's like bonus ability, but that was it. But in here in Mass Effect 2, there's lots more things to do, like this. You can customize customize your armor. Uh, as you see, I have different types. I have this uh, service assault armor uh, from playing the game once and once or twice. I got this collector's armor, uh, which yeah, that's the enemy we're going against. It's some bug-like creatures they call collectors. Now, I only wore this only once because <laughs> it looks so funky. Uh, it comes with a bit of DLC, and of course you can also you can take off your helmet, you can put it on, and then during during throughout the game you get different pieces for your 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 uh, chest, your helmet, shoulders, arms, legs, and they do different things. And then of course you also can uh, change the material on the suit and the the tent with basically the color change the color if you want um, and then the, the other that color and then you could also change the pattern uh, on the suit and then the pattern color blah 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 and I'll, I'll do that later and then you can also change your casual wear However you see fit, but she looks fine just like that. Anyway, the Lucid Man. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers. Just as Saren and the Geth ate in Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Oh, that sounds about right. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, 
No more human colonies will be left. If what you say is true, that the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. Expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Go by. They, they sit there for a second so that you can read them. But... The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip, but the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just agreed to work with him. I still don't trust him. Do you trust me, Commander? I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent Starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they can disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. There was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. 
Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. Nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. Alright, let's see what we got. This report. Now this is all the stuff right here that I get for importing a character uh, from Mass Effect 1. Uh, and uh, I get, let's see here. There's so many zeros, I can't read that. Uh, bonus credits for importing a Reach character from Mass Effect 1. So I bought. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, plus, I got all this stuff. Now, in Mass Effect 1, um, the first Mass Effect game, minerals weren't such a big deal. It's not something you needed. But in this one, yes, you do. We need, you need uh, lots and lots of minerals for upgrades. On yourself, on your weapons, and uh, for your squad mates and stuff. 